Yo guys, what is up? How are you? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's time for Bible bedtime. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, love all my subs. You guys are so amazing. Please comment, share, like, subscribe if any of this is resonating for you guys, okay? Oh my gosh, you guys are so special and sacred and loved, okay? Um, I got, got like, so many beautiful messages today, like joy, hugs, triumph, uh, so beautiful. And, um, I also got, um, sanctified by the blood of Jesus, <laughs> which is so amazing. And then sealed with the Holy Spirit or by the Holy Spirit. I don't know, <laughs> but it's so amazing guys. Yeah. Yeah. I think y'all are finally getting it. <laughs> what this is about, which is so amazing. Um, yeah. And we're all on different journeys, guys. Okay. We're not all going to have the same purpose. I mean, it's the same, come from the same vein, uh, but we're all going to have different, different little purposes. Okay. So just make sure that you're listening to what your gut is telling you to do. And guys, um, I've, I've been watching a lot of Charles Stanley. <laughs> I used to listen to him, um, gosh, this was years ago, <laughs> um, before I would go into work, but, um, uh, yeah, there's a lot of good meat and potatoes there, but, uh, he was talking about, um, taking courage, and it takes pure gut courage to follow God, <laughs> to follow Jesus, okay, because sometimes, uh, what he's telling you to do, it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, bro. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read you guys this, um, this passage or these passages. And it's Joshua. And it's chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. And I want you guys to do something for me. Okay? So just read read this chapter, the verses one through nine, two times in the morning and two times at night. And just watch how your life is going to change. Okay. Um, and it talks about having courage. Okay, guys. And y'all can read further along if you want to. <laughs> that is encouraged. But yeah, so amazing. So here we go. Ahem. Chapter one, God commissions Joshua. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the people of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, just as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall cause this people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to all the law that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, but you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And then the next part is Joshua assumes command. But you guys can read that. Um, yeah, read that on your own. <laughs> okay, um, I have another <laughs> Bible verse I want to share with you guys. But yeah, just some beautiful messages I was getting today, guys. Um, yeah, beautiful. So yeah, I I got that I need to read from Mark a lot. Yeah, in different ways today. Um, and this is Mark chapter 1. And I'm going to read verses 1 through 
20. Okay. So John the Baptist prepares the way. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet. Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John appeared baptizing in the wilderness and proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all the country of Judea and all Jer Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and wore a leather belt around his waist and ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, <laughs> saying, After me comes he who is mightier than I. The strap of those sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it seems like John, uh, uh, John the Baptist looked pretty crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I just get this image of like, I don't know. Um, what's, what's one of those shows? Like one of those survival shows? <laughs> like Bear Girls or something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, the baptism of Jesus. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens being torn open and the spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. The temptation of Jesus, the spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness and he was in the wilderness for 40 days, being tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild animals, and the angels were ministering to him. Jesus begins his ministry. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. <laughs> Whoa, bro. <laughs> Jesus calls the first disciples. Passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. Remember, bro, when I was talking about that? <laughs> oh, man. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. Dude, remember, take up your cross and follow Jesus. That's sling mode, bro. <laughs> and going on a little further, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in their boat mending the whoa, nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee into the boat with the hired servants and followed him. So amazing, guys. Yeah, and don't forget to read um, Ephesians chapter 6 as well. Um, yeah, I really, just so amazing, guys. So amazing, all the miracles every single day. Um... Yeah, and just the amazing miracles that are happening every day around us, okay? Um, I really like this Bible bedtime stuff, guys. I think it's super cool. Um, but anyways, please comment, share, like, subscribe. Um, hit me up if you guys want to pray. I think it's very important that we continually, you know, pray about our day, have those, you know, positive thoughts, um, think about love. I know today I was just talking, um... I don't know, just random people today, and they're like, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing so amazing, <laughs> and they're like, what? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's so amazing, like, life is so amazing, and uh, yeah, people are like, well, I'd be happy if, you know, this was going on, but other than that, I'm like, dude, you know, you gotta be happy with your present situation, <laughs> you know, um, so Anyways, yeah, love you guys so much. Uh, yeah, and I will see you guys again tomorrow, okay? Bye.